Oh yes, uh, I think uh, we've, uh, of course, we're so excited because we're opening up the travel corridor, but coming down to Kaohsiung and seeing uh, the aquaculture industry and now visiting this, uh, this yacht builder, it's just uh, exciting to look at new opportunities, new ways that we can work together to maybe build a, a strong economy in Palau. So this was a, an exciting visit and we hope to see many of these boats in Palau someday. Oh, absolutely. We were we were talking over lunch, and uh, we want to see direct flight from Kaohsiung to Palau. And hopefully, the mayor has time to come and visit. He's an avid diver. He's not dove in Palau. He told me over 20 times. So I said, but he's never dove in with me. So I will personally take him diving. Uh, absolutely, I love bubble tea, and uh, sometimes it's not so good for the stomach. It's, uh, but it's, uh, but I enjoy it very much. Yes. Yes, uh, Mayor Chen talked about uh, signing up a sister city with the state of Koror, the main city in, Kuro, in Palau, and uh, we want to help him develop that relationship, so definitely we will be working on it when we return. So hopefully that will happen soon. Uh, would you want to buy a yacht after visiting the yacht? Uh, the government salary, you cannot afford a yacht. <laughs> but, but we want to look at opportunities for people to possibly invest. More importantly, we were looking also at boats that can transport people to our islands that are far away. And uh, just getting ideas, and I know there's a lot of commercial builders here, so we're, this is one of the stops to look at different options. These are very expensive and very nice yachts. Maybe not so much suited for the commercial and local traffic, but I think there's opportunities for the tourism industry. And I think that's uh, really what we came and we saw and we say, oh, maybe not commercial, but for tourism, I think there's opportunity there. If we can find ways that that can work on it, right? And we invited the chairman and the CEO to come to Palau and look at opportunities to maybe develop marina facilities or other infrastructure that would be helpful to promote the, this kind of industry in Palau. So.
Yes, uh, we apologize for the maybe the miscommunication on limitation on places visitors can visit. Uh, in fact, uh, I called Dr. Palau, talked to the governor of Peru State, just to reassure, get reassurance from him that no, there is no limitations. It was initially a list of places they could go, but there is no limit. They can go to every place they used to visit before COVID-19. That is still all open. So I, I, I know there was a little bit of misinformation and thank you for asking because I think it's important that our visitors know that what's most important to us is they come, they have a good time, they're happy, and come back and report about all the fun they had in Palau.